Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Mailbag time, got a piece of test gear in here which I think probably needs fixing. And we've got some other bits and pieces in here, some of the splitters parts, but I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what this is either. Guess we'll find out. Stick around. What do you have here? 150 microfarad 400 volt caps. Now these are good because I think I needed these for something. I was trying to remember what I got these for. I got these for a certain thing. Maybe it's for the Datrons. Could be. Can't remember. These are radial caps. I'm sure I ordered axial caps. KSG, I don't know those. But then it's like nipping on chemical symbols, so it'll be fine. Not too exciting, just caps. Four Sydney microfarad 100 volt Nichicon caps. I just had a list of capacitors which I thought I needed to buy. I didn't write it down. These are 105 degree rated as they always are. Well, they usually are. List of axial caps. If I get axial caps, then sometimes I have to go to like 85 degree because they're just harder to get. Yeah, capacitors. Don't forget to check out my links down below as well for any items that which may be possible for you to purchase. I do have links down there for things which you can get. Uh, things like capacitors and stuff, obviously there might be links for those because there's no point. But if it's potentially something like AliExpress for example, there'll be a link for that. Another bunch of capacitors. These are 470 microfarad 63 volt. So I thought I was getting a bit low on 470s. Well at least the high voltage one. I've only got low voltage. I think most of those ones we've got in that drawer are about 35 volt, 25 or 35 volt. So I think I had some situations where I needed some high voltage ones and I'd run out. Got much of those in. No worries. This is from AliExpress. It's just an adapter. Now, on my wife's car, which I did a video on recently, I'm going to replace the stereo that's inside it. Now, the original stereo actually had a screen on it for reversing camera and that sort of stuff. It's all built in. You know, I doubled in stereo system and when it came to the country because it's a Japanese import they take those out because the radios operate on the wrong frequencies because they have a different radio band from us then they replace it with a junky stereo in most cases like is in there now you know I've purchased a new stereo from overseas from China really cheap double den with a screen so like really cheap from AliExpress is it any good I don't know I guess I'll be finding out but one of the things it has is the ability to have a video camera input from reversing camera stuff like that but first you need an adapter, so I purchased an adapter to go with it. Hopefully it's the right one. Basically what it is is a voltage regulator circuit. So just here is a 7806 voltage regulator, linear voltage regulator. It's got some capacitors in there, you can see the lumps, smoothing caps. Because the factory reversing camera doesn't run off 12 volts, it runs off 6 volts apparently. So that's for that. And also your video input, so you plug that into the loom which comes from the camera from the back and hopefully I'll put a video camera signal with a voltage conversion. Hmm. So let's get into the box. I think I know what's in here. This is this reinforced tape, which is a bit hard to cut. So it's looking like it's probably going to be DEF CON approved packaging. Look at that padding. Excellent. And on the bottom, bottom of the packing here yeah, is a nice firm layer, that's alright. And it's also bubble wrapped, so that's fine, that's decent packaging. It could be better around the sides, but it's not squashed in the box, so it's not really going to get an impact on the corners. And the bubble wrap looks pretty thick, so that's good. Now I did actually have some issues when I bought this one, I think, was it this one? Just trying to remember what the situation was with this. I oh, know, no, that's alright. Okay. So here's the back of the unit. That looks pretty clean. That looks pretty good. So you may recognise this previously from another unit which I picked up which was 
kind of smashed up. This has got a bit of a ding on the back there. There's actually a bit of a ding on that corner. Let's pull this off. So that corner's been dinged in. Uh, straighten up, it's not a big deal. Hopefully it's not done any damage on this side. But this has got the bumpers on it. And there's the front. There we go. So it's a Agilent E5810A Land to GPIB gateway. So I picked up one of these previously, which was in much worse condition than I had actually purchased. So the one I purchased was what I paid for was in basically good condition, as much you know, like this thing but slightly better. And the one they sent wasn't that. You anyway, know, I ended up getting a 50% refund for that, which is good. I agreed to that, and that's fine. So I got something which is basically worth the money. Um, I haven't actually tried using it. I've powered it up, and, and it does seem to work in that way. But I haven't actually hooked up to a network or actually tried using it. And I thought I'll get another one. Now this one was on eBay as well, and you can see from the screen that the screen is broken. Now the pictures on eBay did show the screen still working. Like some of the segments were digits over here. These were still indicating values and stuff over here. It was still kind of working, but you can see it's had a big ding right here had something hit it pretty hard but I'm not too worried about this because when I open up the other unit to clean all that one out because it was actually caked in dust inside I could see that the display looked like it's fixable I could replace the display with what looks like a standard module so I thought right I'll get one of these because although the display's broken I don't think that's really that much of an issue so I've got one of these previously as I've said before and that's in much worse condition and this is going to be a repair project, so watch out for a future video on this unit. And I'll pull this thing apart, we'll check out the inside of it, and we'll put out the display and look at replacing the display and replacing that, and obviously shaking up the casing, that sort of stuff, and get this thing in fully working condition again. It'll be quite good, then I can then start looking at networking all my test gear together and actually having a networked um, GPIB and LAN interface for my gear and actually have it all automated I suppose and do automated testing and measurements and stuff like that but, which would be good for future videos but that will be something I can get to when I get time um, it's a, a project I want to do for fun you know it's just something I want to play around with and get into it so watch out for that video coming up so thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed click the bell icon that sort of stuff and um, check out the links down below for anything go to Banggood even Express just use my links Amazon I've got Amazon links too I've got lots of test gear on my Amazon page if you want to interesting look at that Alright, catch you later. Bye. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. Much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing, any money that goes, goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. Or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and um, you know contribute to the channel, um, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time. I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up which was going to be rather random and erratic and I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained yeah if you want to support me that's great because um, that would certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby catch you later thanks for watching click the bell icon bye